Hey folks, Bob here again from uh, Bob's Engineering Outdoor Adventures. And today's adventure is updating my uh, shocks on my Dakota RT. Um, it's a, you know, not too bad of a ride. Still trying to figure out this uh, shaking in the front end, but uh, ride was a little bit more squashy. And it would probably have been okay with these uh, gas magnets. They did a good job. Um, but uh, for a performance truck, the guys, everybody recommended these... Uh, um, Bilstein's and uh, part number on the Bilstein that right there um, of course I you know you got to get two for the front I didn't do the back I have air shocks and uh, while putting these in and if you've never done this before um, you need to turn the wheel all the way to the other you know all the way to the uh, right because um, it's impossible to get to that bolt right there from the top so you can get an extension on it but it's spun I got the other one off without holding the wrench on it but this one I couldn't and you can't even see it so probably the best is to take the tire off I was able to turn the wheel all the way to the right I've got to turn to the left because I'm on the other side already um, and then what I used was this uh, which worked really well was these Bilstein nuts are 17 millimeters and the only way to get that uh, the only way to get in there and get this off was to use a, a pass-through socket that I got from uh, Pittsburgh you can get these online anywhere I got them from the local store it's a uh, HF so that fits down on there nicely and enough room to where you can turn the wrench right here back and forth um, otherwise and you've got to put the um, you've got to have a uh, I don't know what size this is let's see it is a four millimeter because uh, these are German made so you know you've got to take this and that pass-through socket allows you to put the uh, you know this in here and hold this while you spin the nut so that's what I use so that's a four millimeter and this setup here is a 17 millimeter pass-through socket and then a 19 millimeter ratchet wrench fits on it and that was this set right here you know if you didn't have this it would be I'm not sure if I would if I could have gotten this uh, apart because um, it's just so difficult to get in there and the nut was just spinning trying to take these off and I had to grab this uh, I had to grab this top right here when I took these off now that's to put the Bilsteins on but to get my shocks off most of them have this uh, like that and what I did was just uh, uh, which the tools are everywhere I took a, uh, a small uh, locking pliers as you would call them not to uh, confuse them with that fellow's uh, channel and uh, honestly I'm not sure what I did with them oh I have them there because I don't have a uh, <laughs> a small pair on those because uh, I didn't have the uh, I couldn't find my handle so I had to use those so one very important thing uh, I noticed when I ordered these Bilsteins I ordered them at the same th same time through the jungle store they came in as they said because it was from a third party vendor not from their warehouse but they arrived in good time both in the same box and what you can see here is this is what came out of the first box okay which is basically wrong and maybe Bill Steen recognized that because of the same part number and in the second box luckily this was in there which is a bigger hole this is the size of the hole that's in my chassis this is not this is much smaller um, also this bushing is thicker and so I got two thin bushings that were have the wrong nipple and I already put the shock on and I noticed that while I was putting the shock on um, I knew that something was kind of funny because the nut bottomed out as I tightened it up and this wasn't even squished at all it wasn't even was kind of still somewhat I won't say loose but maybe it was because 
Velstein puts a lot of threads on there, so I think the rod is longer. And um, so luckily, the second shock had the updated version in it. But unfortunately, I already had one on. So what I did was, now I could have just gotten, taken one of these old ones off my old shock, cut it down, and put it in here to raise this up to give it better tension, which is what I should have done rather than just leave it. Um, but luckily, the, uh, the other second shock came with the updated bushing. So what I did was, I took, had to take one back off, which was very difficult to get on, and put one of the bushings on the top side so it would fit into the hole in the chassis correctly and not move around. You know, it would have been better underneath, but on top is just as well because it'll hold it from moving. And then I took the other one. And I'm going to put it together with the second shock on the other side of the truck because it works and it gets tight. I see it it mushroomed out the rubber a little bit when I tightened it. And it's just about perfect. So I wanted to make a video about that. And, uh, you know, I could have done some stuff in action. But uh, I was thinking this was only going to take like, you know, maybe an hour and a half to two hours for both shocks. And it took me like uh, at least two hours just for the one shock. And I'm still not even finished. So. I just put it back together. I'm going to start on the other side. You can see I got both shocks out. And this one's just about ready to go in. Uh, another note is um, the other shocks that I put in, this had a standard nut. And the Bilsteins give you a locking nut, which is good and bad because it's got that nylon in it. And um, it's difficult to turn. So especially in a tight spot, you can see under there I just showed you, it's hard to turn this. So what I did was before I put the shocks in, I ran the nut. I put some anti-seize and sprayed some other stuff on here. I took the nut with the uh, with the ratchet and I ran it up and down a couple times. That way it gets it just a little bit, breaks in the threads. And uh, that way when you go put it on the truck, it's not quite so hard to, to turn. It'll still do its job and hold it because as soon as it heats up, it'll tighten up onto the bolt. But um, these didn't have anything on it and they weren't definitely weren't loose when I took them off. So it won't be an issue. But I just wanted to note that that that's a little tip the trick there you can do to make it easier especially on this uh, right side here so uh i'm gonna end this video now i'm not gonna really uh get my tripod and show you i uh, mean struggling trying to get these in uh, another thing that i had to do one more trick is these bilsteins are so um they're stiff i wasn't able to push them in by hand so what you have to do is why this bottle jack is here is you push the shock up into the truck and you put the bottle jack underneath the shock and you actually have to pump the shock up in there and uh, get it to seat against the chassis because you can't, at least I couldn't and I'm not as strong as I used to be so maybe you can if you're Hercules but those Bilsteins are pretty tough so put that under there, jack it up, then put the bolts in the chassis and you're good to go. Alright, so I'm going to get back to it here and because I want to get this done today and not work the whole day like I have the last three days on... Uh, on all my vehicles so I um, hope these uh, tips and uh, tricks and these knowledge uh, about the bill stains if you decide to go with them I did do a compression uh, with these even though these have a nice 5 inch shank this is only about a half inch shank I pushed down on them and I pushed down on these and these uh, these um, if you can tell by the color of them they uh, they compressed and then they released pretty quick more quicker than the Bilstein so I don't know if they're just wore out I don't have that many miles on the truck uh, maybe maybe 10,000 maybe since I've put them on so uh, certainly I hope they wouldn't be worn out in 10,000 miles but uh, I could tell the difference when I was going over speed bumps and this truck's got 216,000 miles on it maybe the springs are getting a little weak uh, I tried to re uh, research online about you know how you tell when the springs are weak on a vehicle and all they say is that uh, um, measure uh, if the vehicle sagging one way or another or if it's sagging in the front which mine was not uh, another fellow at my shop said you have to take them out and measure them okay that seemed kind of extreme because if I'm going to take them out and measure them I'm going to go ahead and replace them so uh, if these bills things don't get the ride to the quality of, of an RT that I'm looking for I'll have to replace the uh, springs as well so uh, yep let me get back at it uh, like and like and subscribe uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope this helps you out if you uh, attempt to do this kind of repair thanks all right well 
I was almost finished and I had to take a quick nature break. So I figured, ah, you know what? Uh, more action, less talking. So uh, I'm going to try and film tightening up the last bolt. You can see uh, I've got the um, pass through socket with the uh, with the hex into the uh, top of the shock and um, I've just about I had to I had to take a few minutes and uh, get a get a pry bar and a hammer and I put that socket on because the I had the I had the um, the spacer the rubber spacer that goes in between there the two spacers that everybody knows about well make sure it's you know I thought I had it lined up and then the shock fell down and then I pushed it back up pushed my jack up tighten the shock up when I came up here the circle the the indention in the rubber was not in didn't line up with the frame so I had to get a pry bar and a hammer put it on here a long one and push it push the shock over until it fell into the in the hole into the chassis and those new ones that I showed you um, they do fit perfect uh, so got it lined up I put the one that was wrong on top I don't really know what else to do at this point I really I got to get the truck back running so it seems to work fine like I said and they uh, they mushroom out and I think they'll work fine so I'm not sure if I can uh, get the camera in here while I work it's kind of tight skis um, let's see I don't know I think the camera's right in the way over here maybe How about that? So this is not the easiest position to be in. And then you got to hold this this way as you tighten it. Probably my hand is right in the way, but you can see. Try and grab it this way. This uh, pivoting ratchet wrench allows the allows it to clear the um now one thing i noticed i went ahead and dropped the truck back down so it wouldn't be as hard for me to lean over but the control arm pushes itself back up and makes the this nut and the shock deeper down in to where it's harder to you won't get a flat area to to get any type of tool in there like if you're going to go through the fender well if you're going to go take the tires off which is probably the easiest way to do it leave the truck jacked up where the control arms are hanging down then the bolts more accessible but um, luckily this works good and right now it's compressing I can feel it getting tighter I'm just gonna go until I run out of threads because uh, bushings being the wrong size Feel getting close. Just about, that's just about out of threads. There it goes. That's it. Alright, I put anti seize on it. So, the next poor sap, which will probably be me. They won't be uh, they won't be locked on there so hard because they are very difficult to get off. All right, so you can see it didn't squash the gasket out so much, but it is compressed. But you can see how much of the threads, and that's why they went with those bigger gaskets because I really needed two bigger gaskets um, but this one is very compressed I can feel it so should be good if I feel the uh, shocks rattling around when I drive it well then I'll know I'll have to put some more spacers on the top which after a little bit and those stay compressed I can take them back loose and I can put some of my old ones on the top to make it taller but 
for now or even washers would work too metal washers which I don't have any of that size actually I do I have the original ones I could have put that on there so there it is there's some action shots so I'm gonna clean this up and take it for a drive and see how it does so uh, again thanks for watching like and subscribe comments below thanks